Good morning beautiful people from sunny lucky land it is always very chaotic when we need to leave even if it's just for one or two days so this week is all about Lucas check up at the hospital he has the MRIs and the blood test so we are getting ready we are warming up the car it's a beautiful day but it's very very cold in Italy we call this day i giorni della merla there are three, four days They are just, I think, the coldest of the year. We are preparing everything because we will stay in Torino tonight because tomorrow Luca has the blood test very early in the morning so we don't have to go back and forth several times. We have to run some errands also because we, are, we will go to Torino. And here is my love. Good morning, beautiful people. First stop, uh, throwing Luce's poo <laughs> away. <laughs> okay. What is he checking? Unbelievable! What are you checking? I have some shoes. Uh, <laughs> they're always followed by shoes uh, in the abandoned houses. Uh, in the garbage. Yes. Second stop, cartoleria, tabaccheria, is where you can print files, documents if you need, because our printer is broken and also our GoPro is one part of the, the, the battery is broken, so we have to send it back and we need some labels for the shipping. This other tabaki that is also a UPS center, so we can send our GoPro back to the customer service to support. Okay. And now it's time to switch. I will drive. And I will go to the hospital. Ciao, baby. Ciao, amore. Love you. Ti sapere quando esci? Mi porto un portafoglio mio. In the meantime, I will drive, I will go to buy some diapers for Luce. So I will switch for sure, she will wake up while I'm driving. Ciao, amore. Chiamami dopo, eh. Okay, Luce woke up, but she's not crying yet. So this is good. You have to remember that in Italy, the red traffic lights, they last forever, forever. Forever. It took me 10 minutes. I'm waiting here because, and then the green light the lasts like two seconds and then right again. We have arrived at the parking lot. I'm um, breastfeeding Luce, and then we will go and buy some groceries, especially diapers. I found the diapers here good and good price. So we are trying to do something while we are waiting for Luca. Uh, close to the hospital is always very busy also to park and it took me over 20 minutes to for just one kilometer. Kind of busy in Torino, that's why we like the mountains. Luce, did you eat well? Say ciao! Hi everybody! Hello beautiful people! Somebody to stop here and Lucia is very curious, so she needs to follow everything that is happening around her. Luckily, she is very alert. <laughs> Where are we going now? Where are we going? 
to the supermarket do you want to go on the stroller maybe it's better so I can use the stroller as a cart as well so when I'm alone it's always good to use the stroller as a cart back in the car grocery is done and now we are going back to the hospital where Luca is having all the checkup today he has three uh, MRI one in the brain and the other two in the back and we'll have the result in one week Luce what are you looking at the car you don't know <gasps> what what can you see this beautiful girl in the camera? So there is the flipping screen in this camera, so Luce is seeing herself when we are speaking. Where is daddy? Where is daddy? Who knows? <laughs> the hospital. Mm -hmm. and then we are going to have lunch with Luca's mom, Bruna, and I think we will sleep uh, in Torino, so it will be easier tomorrow. This week I will skip my massage uh, because we have also uh, Luce's pediatrician tomorrow after Luca blood test. So we are pretty busy <laughs> with all the doctors <laughs> during this day but this is the reality guys. It's not always... Uh, we show you what's going on, you ask us how Luca's doing, I'm doing, uh, how Luce is doing. Luce is doing great as you can see. I'm pretty tired um, honestly, I haven't been able to recover 100% after everything that happened, so we'll take time and rest, something that I cannot do right now because I'm pretty busy all day long. But I'm not complaining, we are alive, we are good. Right, Lucia? And we have the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> I will change first Lucia's diaper and in these cases I really miss our van because changing the diaper in the car is not very comfortable. We have to do it. And I'm back with my beautiful girls, uh, my wife Sara and uh, my little daughter Lucia. It has been an intense uh, few hours experience, uh, so I went uh, into MRI and uh, basically I had uh, three mm -hmm. MRI without the uh, contrast liquid. Uh, and then I had uh, three MRI with the contrast li oh, wow, liquid. So, six. so I had six, uh, and uh, each one is uh, basically 20 minutes. Uh, wow. So <laughs> was pretty intense uh, staying there. And uh, you just stay still, right? Yes, without moving, uh, and uh, I was sweating as crazy. Then they turn on the AC, and then I was freezing as crazy. No, no. So it was kind of, uh, 
and bet in between uh, the first uh, three and the second three they had to put me un ingresso venoso they had to put a cannula in my vein uh, in order to put the contrast liquid uh, and um, I almost had a panic attack uh, because of that <laughs> so I was sweating uh, and uh, my lips uh, they were purple and I almost uh, passed away so uh, we had, I almost passed out uh, so we had a little bit of problems uh, with that, that uh, but uh, other than that uh, we managed to do everything uh, the thrombosis uh, in my brain uh, it's looking uh, better it's really they told you already yeah they told me that it's looking uh, uh, good but uh, they told me also that I, I'm still having some uh, leaking uh, because they could uh, see that uh, uh, basically my my body is still producing a uh, leak war so it means that they uh, see everything already yeah but uh, uh, now I will have to decide with the doctor what uh, we can do so so basically the the surgery that you had was it not successful or I mean was uh, another leak from another part I mean it was successful yeah. but we they they didn't manage to to, close to seal the yeah. the leak in a hundred percent I mean uh, I'm feeling great I'm feeling good what concerns me the most is uh, when I will be able to to stop using the uh, anticoagulant uh, the yeah, the, the blood thinner the blood thinner yeah. because that is the is the main thing that uh, impacts uh, impacts our lives and our decisions uh, because <laughs> is what keeps me going to the but hospital now telling me as this news about the leaking probably also this will affect again uh, everything because we don't know we need to wait when when will doctor be able to speak with you on the 6th uh, I birthday? don't know I now yes the 6th of February is when uh, the result the official results uh, will come out uh, yeah. and um, it's the uh, Sarah's birthday day <laughs> in the, the same day we will get some surprise so surprise. hopefully it, it would be a good gift for Sarah if uh, everything is okay but uh, now we'll contact the, the doctor and tell him uh, uh, he will be probably able to see the results uh, before, yeah, before the six yeah. because uh, it's everything connected in the computer so if he can start seeing uh, how everything is going and uh, let us know it would be great yeah wow you, you, you told me a lot altogether <laughs> I wasn't expecting this I was supposed to say okay we need to wait one week yeah, it was yeah. quite intense also being back in a hospital and uh, yeah. it was, yeah. It was not the same hospital. No, this uh, is another hospital, but... It's close uh, to the other one. I passed it's by close before, yeah. and uh, also everything uh, is shared uh, okay. uh, with the other so hospital. So they have everything uh, in this hospital and the Molinette, mm -hmm. the, the other hospital I was, uh, they have everything online in the computers yeah. so they can... Communicate, yes. share the data. Share all the, the, the data, it's all shared. So, yeah, now I just want to go home and lie down a little bit because I'm all sweat and freezing at the same time. It's always better if I drive and then we'll have lunch together with your mom. Yeah, okay. I'm still shaking a little bit. <laughs> I was listening to uh, every little thing. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be alright, right. Bob Marley. Yeah. Baby, don't worry <laughs> about Bad a thing. thing. Cause every, every little thing, thing it's gonna, gonna be alright. Right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Mula Luzo. Mula Luzo. <laughs> Another stop for today. We are here to get our mail and boxes. Here is where we. And they collected everything for us and when we come to Torino we came here and we collect everything we are renovating for this year as well because in the mountains where we live oh! not always the 
the mail is coming and the boxes are coming so this is way better for us thank you everybody that is sending us messages letters mail boxes gifts we really appreciate you luce we are at nonna bruna's house ciao nonna bruna Hello everybody, here we are with Luce. Luce, my, my beautiful Luce. <laughs> Mi guarda, guarda la nonna. Little nap, little siesta. Daddy and Luce. Resting. I will wait for them to wake up and then we have to go to the pharmacy. Let's go to the pharmacy to buy some medicines yeah. and stuff. Lucha slept for one hour. That is wow. not uh, something that uh, happens uh, usually. <laughs> It's a big deal. Here is my my mother's house, Nonna Bruna's house. We have to move the car from the street to the garage. So uh, yeah, otherwise we have, we have to pay. To pay. <laughs> yeah. Here in Italy, where you see the blue lines, uh, you always need to pay. And basically, everywhere it's blue lines, uh, so you need to pay almost we, everywhere. Yeah, low that is specific for something taxi or uh, yeah, yellow is for or residence yeah so, and white is when you don't need to pay but you will not find a lot of white lines it's, yeah in big right. cities uh, in the city center you will basically never find uh, white lines where you can park for free only if you are outside big cities or yeah, in places where basically you have a lot of parking spots, but not in the city. Yes. Luce, c'è il tram! C'è il tram, Luce! C'è il tram! Luce loves uh, these ones. morning beautiful people Luca went to the hospital for the blood test and packing everything Luce so then we are ready to go as soon as Luca will be back we are going to the pediatrician that is not in Torino it's just outside Torino say bye bye to nonna the ciao. grandmother ciao ciao amore ciao amore okay so we are leaving uh, nonna and we are going uh, to the First to the grocery store, again, because I went yesterday to buy diapers. Today we will buy some groceries and then we have the appointment with the pediatrician for Luce to check if everything is okay. Luce, Luce is now 10 months old and a half. 10 months old and a half. So okay. this will be the check for the 10, 11 months. So daddy went to the doctor yesterday, yeah. today and uh, Lucia today as well. And today you had the blood test. Yes. So we are waiting now. Full immersion in <laughs> hospitals and doctors. So. Yeah. So you can see that even if we just stay one night. <laughs> yeah, you never away. know how much stuff you need to bring. Yeah. Because it could be a a good day where uh, Luce behaves and uh, she stays <laughs> clean or it could be one of those days that you need to change her like uh, five times or ten times in one day. Yeah, and then letting her eat together with us with the BLW, so baby led weaning. Of course, she's doing a mess every time. Okay, now we have to... <laughs> <laughs> Stairs. Stairs. It's okay. what... Uh, Every parent hates uh, when uh, using a stroller. And usually you, you should have something for yes. 
smaller. But or? these are old buildings, uh, so they didn't have uh, the the new buildings. They it's mandatory to have something for who has disabilities. Uh, but uh, these are 1990, <laughs> really old buildings. Andiamo. Grocery done. Spinge, spinge, spinge. <laughs> My assistant. And now we still need to go to the pedri petrician. Come si dice la pediatra? Pediatrician. Yeah, that, that thing. Let's get to the car. Oh. Here's how you load a small car when you had kids uh, and this takes all the back space. <laughs> Everything goes on the roof. Luckily we bought this one, yeah. the box. Are you having a snack? Lucia's visit went perfectly. Everything is okay with her. She is growing, as you can notice also from the videos. She is almost 10 kilos and she is 76 centimeters tall. We had lunch and we are ready to go back to Lucky Land. My eyelashes, you have the same. We are finally back home. It is sunny up here. It's a beautiful day, I must say. And now I will unload the car. Sara is already inside with Luce because she was hungry, so she's eating. There is some snow at the top of the mountain up there, which is not a lot. The old people who live here, I love to spend time with them and uh, ask them how it was many many years ago, many generations ago and uh, they used to say that uh, from November till March uh, here it was uh, completely full of snow they would walk from down there till these houses because uh, the, at that time there was no road it was kind of a, a path they use um, uh, donkeys to bring up uh, um, materials or whatever they needed so uh, cars would not um, would not come up here because there was no road they would walk on the snow and uh, create a path uh, on the snow and uh, basically now we only have a few days a year where it's completely full of snow Good morning beautiful people! We are back at Lucky Land. Uh, two days uh, has passed uh, since uh, we came back from Torino, from the hospital. We didn't feel much because we were feeling uh, sick. We are still sick. We had fever for two days. Uh, Just the two of us. Sore throats and headache, fever. And Lucia, she is always healthy. It's yes. incredible. <laughs> Mama's milk uh, is the best medicine. It's doing the job. Um, so we didn't feel to film a lot. Uh, we just want to lay down in bed, but it's quite impossible with a baby. Yeah, she's uh, full of energy. We are yeah. basically <laughs> done, destroyed. Uh, destroyed in the bed. Uh, and she's like, okay, let's have a party. And we are like, oh no. This is something that I never consider. Like when you are sick and you are alone, just the two of us, just stay in bed, you lay down and you have the time to recover. But when you have a baby, you just cannot because you have to play, you have to prepare lunch, dinner, breakfast, breastfeed, and still clean the house, do laundry. So you know better than, than us, I think. Um, so it's challenging, it's challenging. But we are doing it, we are recovering, and now we have two news. 
to give you. Okay, the bad news uh, is uh, we had fever and we were sick. Uh, and uh, the good news uh, is that uh, even if the um, results uh, of the MRI uh, weren't looking uh, perfect, uh, I, I managed to contact and to call and to speak with the doctor who follow all my um, journey in the stroke unit at um, Torino, at the hospital. And um, he was able to see on the computer, even if uh, next week on uh, Monday, the result uh, will come up for us. Uh, for them, uh, the doctors, they can already see everything in the, on the computer. So he, he went through and uh, we talked about and um, he said uh, that uh, they are actually looking good. Uh, so the tr thrombosis uh, in the veins in my brain are looking good. Mm -hmm. the, um, there is this scar. There still? is a scar that uh, he said that probably will stay there forever. That's why I will keep uh, getting the medicines. Uh, the from... blood thinner. Yeah, the blood thinner, he, he said uh, at least for one year yeah. it's better to keep it, even if uh, it's doing uh, the job because it's melting the, the thrombosis uh, and uh, it's almost gone. And I will need to keep uh, going with the pills for the season. <coughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, the good news is uh, that uh, He's really positive, uh, he's saying that uh, basically everything is good, uh, it's looking good and... Uh, we are very happy guys, yeah. because it's uh, almost three months, a little bit over three months after the strokes and Luca's recovery is, is, is being great. Of course we had our, we, we have, we still have our difficult and tough times because it's not everything peaches and cream yes uh, even the the leak uh, the fact that there is still a leak uh, in my of my liquor uh, and i still have uh, pain uh, in my head if i bend down if i had to tie my shoes or pick up something from the floor or if i'm uh, Caffeine. Yeah, you are really weak as well. But yeah, it's, it's day by day. Better. And at the end of March, Luca will also have two checkups with the doctors one for the leaking and the hypotension, and the other one at the stroke unit. So they can give you all the details and they can check everything again. So this is a great news, guys. Everything is, is looking fine but this is not the only good news that we want to share with you because uh, next sunday we will be live uh, right here on youtube uh, and we will be sharing our next uh, project uh, that is really interesting and it's really exciting yes. it's amazing we can't wait to share everything with you um so stay tuned because uh next sunday we will be revealing everything if we are going somewhere, if not, what we are doing, where, when. <laughs> yeah. So let us know in the comments what do you guess uh, we will be doing for our next project. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share it to us, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a new video, new adventures, new stories. And please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Please guys, please, 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 it's just one click and with one click you can support us and you can support our YouTube channel. Even Luce is saying that. Uh, yeah, because they are, not, they are not subscribing, right? Huh. <laughs> Unbelievable, eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. And stay with us! Yes, uh, we will see you next Sunday for our live stream. We will be live with you guys. Uh. We will share all the details of the live stream in the description below this video so you can have everything. And please feel free to ask any questions. Uh, we will answer during our live streams together with Luce. Little Luce, you will answer as well, right? <sighs> we will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita bella. Life is beautiful and... Love always wins. You oh, want to say yeah, love and ener loving energy always wins. Lo love's energy always wins. Uh, loves or love? Love energy always wins. So we leave a L U. L E A W. Something like that. You can figure it out, guys. <laughs>
Chao. We love you. Chao, chao. Si è andata mica telecamera Si è la mamma? Oh, <laughs> my